These meatballs are just going to be so, so easy. All we need is a tin of tomatoes. Try and get chopped if you can, but unfortunately these ones are not chopped. I need some garlic paste, or you can use fresh garlic if you would prefer. Paprika, one teaspoon of paprika. One whole white onion, which is going to be sliced up really, really finely. Well chopped, really. Some sausages, whichever sausages you want. Sausages of your choice. And you're going to need some basil. Here we've got some lovely basil. This is left over from a bunch that I bought in the supermarket. This is amazing, look. I popped it into a glass of water, and after a week, I've got new basil plants. Great. Also, we're going to need quite a bit of this tomato puree, or some might call it tomato paste. So there it is. Right, let's crack on. Sausages. Slit the sausages down the middle. And we want to take out the inside, the sausage meat. Now, out of each sausage, they're quite big sausages, I'm going to make three meatballs. So there's a third of the sausage. Just pick it up, roll it together in your hands, make it, try and make it as neat as you can. You don't want these too big, at least not for me, I prefer them a little bit on the small side. There we are, got a little bit of a slit in it, but that's alright. Pop that down, and then we carry on with the next ones. When they're all done, we can just pop them to one side for a minute, and then we can carry on with the onion. So here it is. Lovely fresh onion, going to slice this down the centre like that, turn it around and cut it into tiny little pieces like this. Finely chopped up, that's what we want. And with the basil leaves, I like to fold this up. I'm going to use about six or seven. Slice them really, really thinly like this. It's the easiest way to do it guys, trust me. And off we go. On to the next step. Put a pan onto the hob, get it up to a medium heat, and here we go with some cooking oil. Then we can get it up to temperature and pop in our meatballs. So in they go. And we're going to leave them to sizzle away for a little while until they start getting nice and brown. And when they've got quite brown, this will take about two or three minutes, not long. And then we're going to flip them over and do the other side because what we want to try and do is get these pretty much browned all the way around. Not only do they look good, but they're going to be cooked right through and they're going to be caramelised great. So while they're cooking, I'm going to slice up these tomatoes while they're in the tin. Now if you've bought ones that are already chopped up, you don't have to do this. So uh, I'm going to put them on my shopping list next time I go and get chopped tinned tomatoes. That's so much easier. Now our meatballs by this time are nicely cooked all the way through and as I said before they've got that little bit of brownness, little bit of caramelisation so they're going to be well tasty. So I'm going to take them out of the pan, set them to one side on some kitchen towel and just leave them to drain off. Tip away some of the cooking oil because there was a bit too much in there. Then I'm going to pop in all these chopped up um, onions. Give those a mix around and just cook these down for a little while and let them get nice and soft. There we go. Get a little bit of colour on them like this. They're looking great, really tasty. So then we can add our tomatoes that have been chopped up. Mix those in. Then I'm going to add the chopped up basil leaves. A hefty squirt of tomato puree goes in. Then our garlic paste, about one or two teaspoons. It's entirely up to you how much you use. And paprika. That just gives a nice little background flavour. And it adds to the colour too. So we'll give this a really good mix together. And you can see, it's thickening up really, really nicely. Time to put the meatballs back in. So in they go, get them covered in this delicious sauce. Mix it all together, get those flavours all incorporated. 
They've got a little bit cooler now because they've been out of the pan. So we'll let them sizzle away, get nice and hot, take in all the flavours, and then we're good to go. When they plate it up, they look like this. Really, really delicious. I've put a few fresh basil leaves on the top just to make it look good. And there you have it. Hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. Don't forget, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And I'll see you all again the next time for another delicious recipe in my kitchen. Bye for now.